I can only imagine from your point of view being brand new, there's a lot of information, but one pound a day is still incredible. Hi, I'm Chris James, and you're watching A Healthy Alternative. Today, we have a special treat for you all. I wanted to give you guys a little inside scoop on what we've been doing in the R72 challenge. So I asked some of the participants or the challengers if they'd be willing to share their experience so far. And we have had a quite a few people who are interested in sharing. And so Joanne is one of those people. I want to welcome you to the show. Thank you for coming on. So, uh, like I was mentioning to you earlier, um, I'm just looking to get your experience thus far, and um, we'll kind of elaborate as we go along. But what what has your experience been with the R72 challenge thus far? Well, so far it's been pretty positive for me because, you know, it's very difficult for me to lose weight, very difficult, and so it's it's. Um, encouraging to me uh to lose a pound almost a pound a day you mm. know there was one day where i did i stayed i didn't lose anything but i started out at 235 and this morning i got on the scale i was 229 nice so so to me that's pretty good i've been following it pretty good now this morning i got up um and i uh actually was very very hungry today so I did have some eggs um, this morning, um, but you know I just I was getting a headache and just not feeling good this this morning, and I, and that's probably part of the process. Mm -hmm. But um, I have a lot going on today, and I just couldn't deal with the headache <laughs> today. So that's where I'm at now. Um, I think for me this I started on the first. I was thinking, oh, I have to start this this process on the first. And then um, I heard later, this is prep work. Mm -hmm. So today is the ninth. So I really should start with the green uh, drink, I think, mm -hmm. all day. So I'm just not super clear where I go from here and how this works from here on out. Sure. Yeah, a lot of, uh, well, I shouldn't say a lot. I don't always say that. A lot of people, no, it's not a lot. Like two people um, reached out and, and basically had the same uh, thought process they thought we were starting uh, uh, in general when we do our challenges people think we're starting on the day um the first day of the challenges are always the intro days and the, the reason why is to make sure that everybody is on the same page so um we we do the intro day and then the next day we start the prep and we do a seven day prep and uh so right now you're saying that you're on the last day of your prep if you're doing your green juice um, right yeah. Didn't you say ninth, didn't you say the ninth day? The ninth? Well, in the in the prep, because you you I guess you started a little early with the fasting. I'm I'm not exactly sure, but um in the actual uh prep, you, we do prep from day two, so January second to um uh January 9th. That's the the ninth is when we start doing the rolling fasting. So okay. um the the headaches and the things that you have mentioned, yes, they are part of the process. Um, what we do is we we do our best to offer you all tools that you can use to prepare you for the detox symptoms. So I actually just there was a post uh, earlier I responded to where a lady was talking about headaches, which is super, very very common, low energy, uh, just you know a lot of things you mentioned, and the peppermint essential oil is really really good for um, just helping to mitigate headaches and just kind of feeling low energy. Uh, there's also, we, we've we also talked about some of the different supplements that you all are allowed to take along with this process. Um, the Real Life Greens from uh, the Root brand is one of the, the supplements that people tend to, to like to use for cravings. And it's just a fiber, it's a fiber supplement. So it helps to flush the system but also it's a prebiotic. And what the prebiotic does is it nourishes the gut flora. And so it helps with cravings and uh, digestion. Um, so yeah, those are some of the options you have for, the, for those issues. So, so moving forward, uh, the goal is going to be to uh, start doing the rolling fasts and then 
what are some of the what would you say are some of the outcomes that you're looking to achieve like what what were what were some of the reasons you wanted to join um to uh drop my weight i want to lose uh roughly about 50 pounds or 55 pounds and i just want to uh i'm i stand on my feet all day i need to get some of the weight off um so that my feet aren't hurting my legs aren't hurting at the end of the day and of course i want to look really good i don't want to continue gaining weight um and you know it gets to the point where <clears throat> nothing looks good on you when i get dressed nothing is looking good on me anymore i'm not feeling as confident as i did before um and so i want to get that back i'll be 70 come um, the 26th of this month and I don't mind being 70 I just don't want to look 70. Go no, well listen um the one of the beautiful things first of all you're you all of your goals are in alignment with what we uh are, are this r72 is perfect and you know getting weight off is is pretty much the goal um with that being said the process of using fasting for that also does reverse your age. Uh, so, you know, we've seen, we've seen people, in my opinion, lose 10 years of age, uh, pretty, pretty easily. Obviously what helps is, uh, changing the diet, which is one of the, one of the highlights of the challenge as well, because, um, you had mentioned you want to lose about 50 pounds. So the challenge is, um, it's really promising about 25 pounds, right? Within that 30 days, it's very likely you all will lose more depending on how uh, committed you are to the process. So it'll be it'll it'll be some work for you to do outside of the challenge. But I think with the cookbook that we offered and some of the recipes, if you you know adopt some of those practices, um, watch that your intake of the meat, dairy products, processed foods, and refined sugars, then you'll be able to continuously move towards that, and it will reverse your your. Uh, the, the the signs of age it will help reverse those fairly quickly so you're you're definitely in the right place yeah i've never drank so much water i'm not a real big water drinker and i knew i needed to change that mm -hmm. so that's important so rather than tell myself i don't like water i just said i need to have water and i don't feed my mind with i don't like water mm. so it's it hasn't been too bad i'm doing um the uh alkaline water so mm -hmm. i'm at that's so, good so starting now where do i go from here so in the featured post area if you're using a computer if you're in, if you're using a computer uh when you when you get into the secret group there's a featured post area and that's where all of the the content lives and everything we have calendars uh we've sent you off via email calendars um, as well as the the uh, the content that's going to be coming out, like all the videos, it's all in your email. It's all in the featured post area. So if you familiarize yourself with that area, you'll never be left behind. You'll never feel like you don't know what's going on because it's always, always there. And then also with the events, there's an events tab. And at, usually about 24 hours before an event comes out um, or sometimes before, you'll see the event it'll be a live event that you could sign up for and then that will give you a reminder so and then you'll know what time and and you know how to get to it but all of those all of those lives are available after we do them as well so if you go to the featured post area you will see the old lives and if you watch those you will you'll get all the way caught up because we we go over all of this in those lives when do I do the one day of eating and three days of, 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 uh, is it no food? Yes. Can you so, explain? yep. So the R72 is, um, three, it's three days or 72 hours of water, water fasting. And then, uh, after you do your three days, we do the food and it starts today. It starts today at noon is when it started. Okay. At noon. Mm -hmm. and, and and so for the so for the next 72 hours it's water fasting and then um on thursday at noon you'll you'll have your 
you you break your fast, you do your refeed. And we just released the video uh, for how to, you know, how, how to break the fast and everything. Okay, so 72 hours of water. Can you go 72 hours with just water? Yeah. Are you are you new to the uh, community? Very new. Okay. Um, so one of the things you could do is uh, we have a we have a playlist on YouTube. It's called uh, Inspiring Interactions. So if you just go to the YouTube channel and you look at the Inspiring Interactions playlist, I don't know how many videos are in there now, maybe 50. Um, and they're all testimonials of people who have done long-term water fasting. So that would be, you know, three days or more with water only. Um, but like, as I say in the, uh, in the actual challenge, you can, you can add things to your fast if you need to. So if you need to do, you know, like some green juice, if you're just feeling, if the detox symptoms are overwhelming, or if you, you know, uh, if you have something very important to do, a presentation, you know, you you have an active lifestyle and you need a pick me up. There's certain things that you can have, um, you know, coconut water, uh, herbal tea, as well as, uh, you know, you can add like chia seeds to your water and things of that nature. If you need something, you know, on day two of your fast or day three of your fast, green juice is probably one of the better options because it doesn't have sugar. So you're going to um, you're not gonna it 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 doesn't it doesn't you know entice your appetite as much because we want to we want to stay away from taking too much with our fast because it usually starts to entice appetite. Uh, okay. So green juice is one of one of the good options. Also infused water. So infused water is where you would like get some key limes or some lemons or even some cucumbers, and you slice them up and you put them in your like a gallon of water and you let it sit for about four hours. And then you drink that and that'll help. And it doesn't entice hunger as much either. Now, when you're done with all, all of this, do you, you know, some, some diets you do, you stop doing it, which <clears throat> do, do you just gain weight real fast or? No, I mean the, the, if you go back to all of your old habits, yes, you'll okay. gain all the way back because mm -hmm. it's not, there's nothing magic about it. Um, the sure. goal is to show you a technique that can help you get the weight off. And then the, the goal of the challenge is to show you lifestyle changes you could use to keep the weight off. So you sure. you want to you want to immerse yourself in everything. We have a PDF guide. I don't know if you've got a chance to read it. Um, we've yeah. got we, we've got different resources to help you start making those small incremental changes in your lifestyle. And then if you couple the changes with fasting that's going to help you maintain and keep progressing towards that you know 50 pounds or whatever you want to lose mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i see where you have people you have 20 what was that 14 21 so the mm -hmm. 21 day challenge is our that was the first challenge we developed and it was designed um for people who are really looking for like deeper uh deeper healing um with fasting depending on how long you fast, you get different outcomes. And so the the uh, the R72 is really for entry level. It's really to help people who aren't familiar with fasting and aren't familiar with uh, you know what we're what we're doing to kind of ease yourself into it. And then you know later on down the road if you want to do something longer, once you fully kind of understand the process, then that's a good opportunity to do that. It doesn't seem like it's too out of pocket you know mm -hmm. you know like a three-day fast just drinking water it's like is that healthy you know <laughs> we have so much resource like so many resources so i can understand how things can feel a little overwhelming or you could feel discombobulated so you know um i'm gonna do my best to help guide you but trust me i will say if you if you stay with us for the next couple weeks and you just dedicate a couple hours a week to absorbing the content, you will feel so much more comfortable. And like I said, those interviews are incredible because there's people on there who were where you are now talking about how they, you know, kind of progress. So it helps when you, you, you know, someone's relatable and um, you yeah. can see their, their outcomes. Yeah. I just stumbled upon your, 
a video on YouTube and you were interviewing a husband and a wife where she lost 150 pounds and then he lost 50 pounds and then the daughter lost, I think, 50 pounds. So Yeah, uh, Larissa, Larissa and Edward. Oh, that's it, Larissa. Larissa, uh -huh. yeah. Their, uh -huh. their interview was incredible. Yeah, yeah. But I noticed the more, the bigger you are, the more weight you lose much faster. <laughs> yes. Um, there is a, there is a cap. So depending on if you're male or female and depending on your height, um, when you're in the obese, well, when you're in the morbid obesity range, you're definitely going to lose weight faster. When you get to the obesity range, there's a cutoff depending on your height and your weight and things of that nature. But when you get to, when you're in the overweight range, everybody loses weight at about the same rate. So it depends on where you are on the spectrum. Um, but two pounds per day is the average for weight loss for people in the overweight range. Uh, people who are in the obese or morbidly obese range can lose more. But uh, two pounds per day is about the average. So yeah, yeah I'm always half. You know, I lost one pound, a, just about one pound a day. Well, um, what I would say is we can usually we can increase that by opening up your elimination pathways. And once again, I can only imagine from your point of view being brand new. There's a lot of information. But but one of the things that we talk about is before you start fasting to to, to make your fast more effective, you start cleansing the the intestinal tract, um, the liver and some of the organs and, pro and systems that help you push toxicity out. And so if you do that and you're not getting, you know, results that we would consider more like average, um, you could boost them by doing that first. So that's also part of our prep process. But one pound a day is still incredible. So I did, I'm doing a cleanse now. Um, and, you know, so cleansing, um, doing, removing the toxins and also I'm a parasite cleanse mm -hmm. because I have testing to see where I'm at if I, if, you know, cleaning the colon um, and also how much toxins are in my system, what the pH balance is, that sort of thing. And, oh. um, and parasites showed up. So I'm taking something for that. Okay. Um, yeah. But I had never heard of your product before. Uh, that root brand mm -hmm. so so eventually I'll try that and see you know how that works yeah if you if you want something to aid with the I know you're already taking something for the parasites but if you want something to further aid with that there's um the the one is called restore uh -huh. it. it's it's found on the same on the same website as the relive green uh -huh. yeah um, and, and do you, uh, do you do colonics? I long time ago, I haven't done colonics Okay. Because, because I do, you know, the regular cleansing on a regular basis where okay. most people may do it seasonally. I do it on a regular basis. Right. Okay. Well, if you, if you, um, one of, I'm, I'm not big on doing colonics regularly. I, I don't, I don't like the technique as much. Definitely not like. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so I think we're on the same page. But um, one of the techniques that I have found very effective is to take two. You take two sachets of the restore um, and then you get a colonic the, the next day. And the, mm -hmm. the restore, um, it basically detaches the parasites from your intestinal wall and, you know, wherever they may be hiding. It causes mm -hmm. them to kind of get detached. And then when you do the colonic, it'll flush them out. So. Uh, oh, we, have, yeah, we've seen, we've seen some pretty incredible flushes, uh, from using the restore and you, you can, you can use the restore along with whatever parasite cleanse you're using now. And that would, you know, it still produce a good result, but we've just found it couples really well with clonics. I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like that product. I mean, I read about it and it looks pretty good, you know? It was just, you know, the amount of money. It's it's not cheap. No, it's not. But <laughs> you, you know what? Um, the the thing about it is, I think once people know that it works for them, 
then the value proposition changes. And that's why we wanted to create kits so that people can, for a much smaller investment, try it and see that it'll work. Because imagine if, you know, you could, let's say you could take a magic pill that just detoxes you and it was a thousand dollars. But if you were chronically ill for a thousand dollars, you could detox and, and reverse all of that. Then the value proposition would make sense. It's just like, sure. but does it work though? Like, am I going to get scammed or is it going to work? So, um, yeah, I think that once you see how well it works for you, it does help with the, you know, you, you know, the mm -hmm. purchase price. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm looking forward to maybe hearing from you in the future. Once you get all, uh, you know, caught up and organized and I'd love to hear your feedback. Okay. All right. You're going to send me an email, right? Yes. I'm going to, I'm going to send you an email. Um, you'll probably get it tomorrow, but uh, I'll send you an email with some instructions just to make sure that you're all caught up and, and you, you know, you're on the right track. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Chris. All right. Did you, Thank you. did you lose weight? That was my last question. Did you do <laughs> Are you asking, did I lose weight recently or like in general, did I like, in order for you to get started in this, did you, were you overweight? Yeah, so um, I lost, I've lost about 90 pounds. 90 pounds? Yeah, I, I gained, I gained, um, I gained about 20 pounds back because I was, I got too small. But my goal was never to lose weight. But yes, I did lose, I know how to lose weight. <laughs> um, I, be, I believe firmly in teaching uh, when, I think experience is the best teacher. And I don't usually talk about things that I haven't experienced, or if I don't have someone, whether a testimonial or one of my, my siblings or one of my coaches who's had an experience, I usually do my best to share what I know and what I've actually seen. Um, a lot of times people will teach from books. And I think what's made the brand AHA so popular is that we teach from experience. So yes, I, I've learned how to lose a lot of weight. And I've also learned how to maintain it because I've been maintaining my weight for seven years now. So oh. that's the, that's the biggest issue people have. Like you had mentioned it earlier, right? Like, you know, how do you, how do people kind of do after the challenge? Do they gain it? Do they keep it off? Um, so we want to impart that wisdom. And actually I just did a, a, a video with my brother it just it just the first episode released yesterday and it's it's basically the his five year journey where he lost nearly 200 pounds and we talk about kind of the ups and downs of his journey so uh that would be a good one for you to watch as well yeah i think i saw one where he lost 50 pounds you know so oh that was my other brother that would, yeah i was like how many brothers he got you know but, uh... <laughs> i i have four brothers so Oh, brothers, uh huh. Yeah. And then Michelle is she your sister? Um, no, she's she's not my sister, but she basically, yeah, she's she's a very close uh friend of the family. Um, uh -huh. so so we we have Shell and then uh Jasmine. Jasmine is actually one of our. She was a member of the community. She started coaching with Stephen a couple of years ago. Lost one hundred and fifty pounds. And then decided that she wanted to be a coach as well. So she started coaching as well. And um, I think that's pretty much all of the regular people that you would see. Yeah, I was just, yeah, for me, I was trying to make the connection with everyone. I also think one of the things that I do, I create um, treatments for women losing hair. Mm -hmm. And um, so diet is one of the things that I include supplements you know, those kind of things. Right. But the one thing I have not ex um, really stressed was drinking water. And I notice with me drinking more water, I'm seeing a little bit more action in my hair growth. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Uh -huh. that makes sense. I am. Because normally I'll focus on protein and mm -hmm. vegetables, eating healthy and that sort of thing. Um, but I do need to uh, incorporate and express stress uh, drinking lots of water because I think you know the dryness of the hair and the whole bit so 
Absolutely. So. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you were able to, to see that. And uh, that'll be great information you can share with your community now. Uh, if you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And as always, the application of knowledge is power. And I'll see you all next time.